Today, I'm gonna to show you how to crush it in color grading, literally. Welcome back, friends. Let's talk about that faded look that I personally love very much and use uh, way too often. I have to stop myself uh, a lot of times <laughs> to not just make all of my footage, uh, you know, that faded cinematic look. I'm sure you've heard people talking about crushing or clipping the blacks, or maybe more commonly known as like a faded effect or faded look. It's pretty easy to do. It has its own slider in uh, Lumetric Color. Um, let's see. You can find it on Instagram. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get that look in Premiere Pro. I'm also giving away three of my personal super simple faded LUTs. No like crazy color grading, it's just three different kinds of faded looks that you add to your uh, grade after you finish with your own color correction, just to get the faded look. I'll be giving those away for free, I'll put the link uh, in the description, I'll talk more about that uh, in the end of the video, like how you can add them to your Premiere Pro uh, library so you always have them there whenever you need them. Well, let's jump into Premiere Pro and uh, create some cool faded footage. All right, um, here we are. I have a uh, timeline right in front of me uh, with uh, two clips from my previous video about the really insane um, macro uh, pro blends. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll throw the uh, link to that video up in the corner somewhere so you can check that out if you would like to. Now, as I said before, these clips are already color corrected as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I have an adjustment layer down here. But just to show you, I can create a new one, a new adjustment layer, okay. I'm just gonna put that on top of my footage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply uh, the fade uh, to this adjustment layer instead of just putting it onto the clips themselves. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the uh, color tab in Premiere Pro. So the metric color is right here on the side for me. Make sure you're under the uh, creative tab in Lumetric Color. And as you can see down here, there is actually a faded film slider right here, already built in to Lumetric Color. So when you're dragging this to the right, you can actually see how it's fading my footage. And this looks really nice. Like this, this is very convenient. I use this uh, sometimes as well. Let's have a quick look. That's nice. There's nothing wrong with that. It looks really nice. The only sort of problem, I guess, if you want to call it a problem, is that you don't really have much, uh, you don't really have many options with this slider, except from, you know, the amount of fade that you're applying to your footage. So what I would usually do is I'm going to jump down to curves. And here you can actually uh, control this <laughs> manually, so to speak. So when you're moving this bottom keyframe, you're essentially crushing the blacks in this image. If you move this along the bottom to the right, you see that you're actually crushing all of the blacks. You're definitely like destroying all the information in the dark parts. But we want to, what we want to do is go the other way. So drag it upwards to the left and then move it in towards the middle again. That's when you're going to get this faded look to your footage. You can move this up and down along the middle and see where you find the sweet spot that really suits your footage. Let's have a look. I like that, not bad. Uh, another way that I usually do it is I put another keyframe right here and then I move the bottom keyframe up against the left side again. Maybe somewhere around there. You can even maybe lift the highlight slightly. I think that looks really nice. And maybe even pull down the whites.
See how the whites are changing up here by the, the cutting board and the, uh, the dead cat. Let's play that through. This, I think this is like this kind of curve that we just created is my favorite type of faded look. I mean, obviously you'll have to play around and make sure it fits, you know, your footage. But I always end up somewhere around here. See, I also have this clip of me and my, and two of my very good friends and walking across the uh, salt flats uh, in Utah. Uh, so let's just throw an adjustment layer on top of this as well. Uh, just like the other uh, footage, this is already color uh, corrected um, the way I like it. So now I just have to add a faded look to this footage. I'm just gonna do the same thing here. New keyframe. Gonna lift the blacks. Maybe pull the highlights back up a little bit. There we go. Let's see, you know, kind of like it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Before, after, before, after. Not many shadows in this, but you can see like on our backs that it's changing. I think it's probably a lot easier to see on this. Yeah. I love faded footage. I don't know why. I always have to stop myself from doing this to like every video I make. As I said in the beginning, I also have like three uh, LUTs that I've saved for myself uh, that I like to use. If we just see reset the lumetric color or jump, let's jump into, so on this adjustment layer, we'll jump into creative and you can see I have, right here, I have three lots called Crush It. Uh, they're pretty similar to each other, but they have slight differences. Um, crush It Softly, my favorite. It's a little bit more discreet, a little bit more gray, not as extreme. And obviously you can play with the intensity right here. If we go up to uh, Crush It Hard, this mainly focuses on the really black areas. It's not going to make the footage as gray as the previous one. If we jump back to softly, see how it sort of makes the whole image a little bit, you know, softer and more gray. While hard version, not so much. Then I also have a crush it all, which also, you know, applies, um, which also crushes the whites. So as I said, um, you can download these three uh, lots if you want. Um, the link is in the description below. If you end up downloading them, let me just show you how to import these into Premiere Pro. Uh, obviously, you can just go into under creative, look, you can go to browse and just load it for this specific project. However, if you want it to uh, appear in this list, like mine do, you will have to copy them into the creative folder in the Premiere Pro uh, content uh, folder. So I'll show you how to do this on a Mac since I'm on a Mac. Um, you'll have to go to uh, applications. You'll find Premiere Pro right there. A right click on the app and click on show package contents. I go to contents, you have to find Lumetri, LUTs, creative. And as you can see, I have my crush it folder right there on the top. So what you're gonna do is just unzip your folder, drag it right into this one, restart Premiere Pro. And the next time you open it up, you'll find it right there under the creative tab. You can play with it as much as you want to. Hopefully you'll find it useful as well. It's not very advanced, but you know, maybe it'll at least save you some time in a stressful project. What do I know? That's really it with this video. 
I do hope you found this uh, useful and that you learned something. Um, consider giving this a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.